Hey guys, uh, today we're going to do some modding on the uh, water cooled computer. Um, going to make basically like a, a poor man's uh, RAM cooler for it. This is some old Socket 7 processor fans I had laying around. Um, basically just took three of them, zip tied them together to uh, hold them firm. Then we uh, cut the wires soldered them and uh, shrink wrapped them to tidy them all up so that we just have the one plug in that will run all three fans and we're going to make a mount for this to mount onto the uh, LED RAM uh, chips that we have in the computer and we're also going to do a uh, the 80 millimeter uh, fan mod on the north bridge on this one the same as we did on the Antec one a week or so ago, so we're going to uh, shut down the computer and start uh, opening her up so we can figure out a way to mount this. Well, we opened up the uh, side cover on this one. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but uh, inside the radiator is a little bit dusty. Uh, definitely the bottom intake fan is dusty. Might be as good a time as any while we have this open to do some cleaning in here and uh, get a little better airflow. Okay, we have the fan off the radiator. Um, I don't know if you can see the dust and stuff in there. Basically, we're just going to take our toothbrush and uh, clean all the fins out and try to get all this dust out. Then we'll blow it out and get rid of any uh, dust residue that's floating around in here afterwards. But as you can see, it's pretty dirty. Okay, we uh, marked out some uh, measurements here on this uh, piece of metal. This is a, a part of a uh, old CD-ROM that we gutted out, just the bottom plate from it. Kept it for just for this purpose, for uh, using the metal. We marked where we're going to drill our holes to mount this, and uh, we're just going to use a jigsaw and cut out these two pieces here for the uh, brackets. Okay, here's a shot of the pieces we cut out once they're drilled and mounted. Um, I'm going to try to take the grinder and see if we can open these up a little bit to uh, get more flow through the fan. And the way I cut the plates is so they have this little notch on the bottoms of them on both sides. We're going to use them to hook on to the uh, ram locks on the motherboard. But I just wanted to test fit it and make sure our holes we drilled lined up all right. So we're going to see if we can trim this down a little bit and uh, get a little nicer. Then we're going to uh, bend it so that we can uh, get it to lock onto these uh, ram latches on the memory chips themselves. Well, I just took a hand grinder and uh, ground out these notches to uh, give it a little better airflow through the fan. Also, make sure if you do that, you remove any burrs and make sure your fans move freely because all it would take would be one burr on there to stop the fan from spinning. So now we're just going to bend it to uh, fit onto them latches. Well, this is what it looks like when it's bent. Uh, we overly bent it, as you can see, and that's simply so that these have some spring to them. We can uh, bend them out a little bit as need be so they really grab on good to them clips and won't fall off. But uh, that should work efficiently. I'm going to uh, undo these brackets and put a little primer on them and paint them up a little bit so they look better than just plain metal. And we'll see what it looks when it's like when it's... Okay, we're getting ready to uh, mount the 80 millimeter into the case. I won't go into too much detail on this one since we uh, pretty much gave this a rundown on the uh, Antec mod uh, update. Uh, also, I figured since I was cooling everything else, I added a 120 millimeter blowing down onto the uh, hard drive just to work as kind of a cheap hard drive cooler. Figured we might as well cool that since we're cooling the RAM and everything else. Um, still waiting for the paint to dry on the memory cooler part of it. Um, so we should be able to start putting this back together real soon as soon as that paint dries. Well, here's the uh, <clears throat> RAM cooler after it's been painted. Ready to install. 
Um, the only thing else I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of electrical tape on the bottom on these feet um, just to insulate it because in the uh, motherboard there are some components and stuff fairly close to where the RAM is and because these are metal we want to make sure that they don't short out anything on the board or do any arcing so just to insulate it we'll put some electrical tape on these and uh, we're ready to set it in and plug it in okay well we are uh, pretty much all done the uh, ram coolers installed converted over to the uh, 80 millimeter fan for the north bridge I had to pull out the uh, radiator unfortunately to get at it because of this hose in the way but decided while we were in here and cleaning we might as well add a little more bling and we uh, took the grill off the radiator and also took an 80 millimeter grill uh, for the Northbridge fan and decided to paint them to match the case also just to make it look a little better but we're ready to uh, plug this in and make sure everything's working well here's a shot of it all running it's our uh, Northbridge fan you can make out the uh, memory cooler running and also our 120 that we added for the uh, hard drive running so it's kind of pretty looking should cool much more efficiently than it was so uh, anyway thanks for watching uh, subscribe if you haven't already and remember to comment